Hey, um, today I'll show you um, how to create your own theme for Windows or Vista. Uh, both works on both things. Now I'm using this for Vista, but I don't. It's, it'll be exactly the same for XP. Something similar. I think in XP you right click and you go Properties, then Appearance, and you can do it from here. And go into advanced, but for Vista, you just right click go personalize. So, to make your own theme, I'll show you that now. So, you're gonna right click on your desktop and go personalize, right? Then, this will come up with the control panel personalization. You're gonna go window, window, color, and appearance, and minimize that. This uh, window will come up and you're gonna search through your themes. I've downloaded some themes. Let's go. Gonna find a theme that looks like this one, the Windows Standard Classic thingy. And now you're gonna go Advanced, and here you can edit everything. So, um, I'll start off. I might pause it halfway and just do all them how I want. So you're going to start off by buying 3D objects. You can change the color. Say, make a really random one. Blue. Alright. Active title bar. That's this one and this one. These two colors. So I might change the colors to that and white. Yeah. You can change the font and the size and everything, the color. It's very advanced. Active window border. Yeah. Um, application background. Might keep it at that. And you're just going to go through border padding, you know. You're just going to go through them, caption buttons, desktop color, it's the desktop, oh. purple, no, white blue, no. let's go for that bluey color, oops, and you're just going to go through do every single thing, disabled thing, <laughs> That's funny. Um. Yep. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back when I've finished everything. All right. So I've just gone through everything. Um. Yeah. So he's gonna go through every single thing. Oh, what's happening? All right. So tooltip is when you hover over something. And a little tip. I like to use yellow, but you can go other. And you can choose uh, another yellow, so I'll just choose a lighter color. Okay, that's the tooltip and the window. Yep, that's just the text thing. See, I've changed the text for the thing. Now you're gonna go OK, and you're gonna go apply. And I usually just take around 10 seconds just to apply the theme. Alright. And there is your theme. It's a it's an alright theme, I guess. See how everything's different. Yeah. And you can go back and edit that. So if I just go advanced, I'll go back to the menu. I might change the color of the menu. It's a bit dark for me. Go OK, apply. Now I'll show you how to save this theme so you can send it to people or anything. So now that menu has finished. Alright. So yeah, just go OK. Now right click again, go personalize. Now go to theme. And now you'll see your theme here, modified theme. You can go save as. 
and you can name it blue theme all right you can save it wherever and you go delete whatever you go okay so I'll just show you an example how you can send it or something you go to where you saved it lines and documents I saved it as blue theme there we go you click on that it'll come up in that window again and that's my other theme I made before it's alright so yeah now that's a file you can send it whatever so thanks for watching